Okay, so I just want to firstly apologize for doing these updated videos. But due to my last video, I had somebody comment on it with concern about the stress that the cards get put under during dual mining and the particularly the temperatures that were on my cards. Uh, but I can actually quickly go look at that last video. You can see the temperatures on card one, I had 56 on the core, 70 on the memory. Card number two, or GPU one, which is probably the most concerning one, which is the power color fighter that doesn't have a backplate on it, was at 58 on the core and 78 in the memory. Uh, number two was 64 on the memory and number three was number uh, was 58 degrees on the memory so what i've done now i went back and had a look at them um, and going back and looking into the tuning guide jewel on the lol minor <coughs> github page <coughs> uh, the maximum they sort of suggest is 1750 so i dropped it straight down to that and there is a couple other things i've done which i'll go through in a second but straight away as we can see uh, the temperatures are looking a lot better. So I've now got 47 on the core, 62 on the memory, 48 on the core, 70 on the memory, 50 on the core, 58 on the memory, and 39 on the core, and 52 on the memory. So just to go through the, the clocks I've actually got quickly. So I've dropped the core clock down to 1750. Like I said, is the uh, sort of maximum that yellow L minor sort of suggests. I've got the core voltage at 780. I did have it running at 775, but I did have one GPU drop off, so I just bumped that up by 5 millivolts. I was looking at the memory controller voltage, and I don't know why I had it quite up so high. It was just from what I was reading on other people's, but I think, to be honest, I was looking at just a purely uh, ton mining rig, not a Nephan ton mining rig. And the memory controller voltage is obviously more to do with the memory, and the memory is more to do with Ethereum. So I've dropped that down to what I would run my straight Ethereum mining at which has seemed to make a big difference on the memory temperatures as well. Obviously, what I would normally run straight Ethereum at would be 900 on the core, uh, 630 on the core voltage I run to stop any crashing, and 620 on the memory controller, 950, and then the memory voltage, as you can see there. Um, so back to these overclocks. So I dropped the memory controller voltage down to 620, like I just said. Obviously, the memory clock I haven't changed at all. I've still got 950 all across the board, and the memory voltage... If you've watched my last couple of videos, you should know that the 1100 is for the Hynix memory cards um, and the 1200 is for my Micron card because I, if I go try and go lower than that, that card just crashes. But, I mean, as you can see, if we compare even the power usage on the last video, I was at 94 watts, 91 watts, 99 watts and 86 watts. And I've now dropped it down to 74 watts, 70 watts, 85 watts and 66 watts in the software, which is a hell of a big jump down. Uh, especially here in the UK where the prices are skyrocketing for electric at the minute. I've let this run for just over 20 hours now. I've got 1,980 accepted shares on the Hyvon pool. Uh, that's for the Ethereum side of things, which, as you can see here, the RX 6600, the average is 116, with the reported being 115. So there has been no drop in performance on Ethereum, which is brilliant especially as you can see there by the hash rates so i've got 2897 2896 28.91 and 28.96 with about 1.2 giga hashes across the board for toncoin which is brilliant i mean my last one was running at uh, 1.4 giga hashes so a drop of 0.2 giga hash across on each card but for the massive save in for the massive savings in um temperatures and power i think it's worth it it's the longevity of the cars that we care about. And as you can see here, my 24 hour average on Toncoin is 4.7. And in the current is at 4.4. It does sort of jump up to anywhere, anywhere up to about 5.39. Obviously that's depending. This is pool side. So, I mean, in conclusion, uh, quite happy, a lot more comfortable now. Only losing 0.2 giga hash on each card, which is nothing really and having a massive drop of say 20 watts on each card roughly roughly 20 watts on each card and you know a big old jump of eight degrees on that card on the memory temperature just makes me a lot more confident to let these let these run dual mining i know it's a lot more stress on the cards but as i said i'm in the uk and i want to kind of get as much as i can for the power that i'm using in them so thanks if you've got any other suggestions or Anything you want to know, anything you want to see, just drop it down in the comment section. I'm always reading them, trying to reply as well. 
well, I do reply. I don't get many comments at the minute. <laughs> um, so, yeah, thanks, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.